If I park one of my 17 supercars outs outside a club, right? Let's say the Lambo's outside, and dudes are trying to break in. Even though I know the locks, the alarm, the immobilizer are solid, you can't steal a Lambo. Dudes are trying to break in, and I see it. Am I going to allow them to try? No. no. So if I have a chick, even though I know she won't let them smash, it's not jealousy, it's territorialism. Mm -hmm. And no one's going to be allowed to even try. How am I supposed to have a chick I truly love and care about when every dude in the world can just hit on her, even if she says no? If you want to go to the club, you can go with me. You want to go to Maldives, baby? I'll take you to Maldives where you want to go. I'll take you all around the world. I'll take you anywhere you need to go. Well, he was saying territorial. Not jealousy. It was basically, he's not, he's not jealous of the other guys. He's just saying that if we're gonna, you're gonna want to go out, we're mm -hmm. gonna go out. I don't know. That seems a little controlling to me. What do you feel that uh, controlling? Controlling, hundred percent. Because I don't always want to go out with you. Like, but why do you need to go out if we were to, we're together? That's what he's trying to say. I want to go out because I have my own life. But we're together. Okay, I'll so. see you when I get home. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I, I just don't understand it because I feel like men and women they need their space, right? Yeah, I feel that too. But why, why do you need to go to a club though? That's what he's trying to say. You can go out, go hang out with your friends, go, go, but why do you specifically go to a club where you know you're going to get hit on? <laughs> I could get hit on anywhere I go. Okay, well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just at a club. Like, you can go, like, freaking wearing scrubs, go to the shopping mall, you, you know get what hit sometimes, on over there. As, as you said that, I kind of think, to me, this is why you see a lot of attractive guys with, like, ugly girls. Because they don't have to worry about the girl getting hit on as much. I thought it was because he actually loved her for her, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, yeah. Well, yeah, it could be. But I, I like I said, thing he could love for her, I'm sure. Yeah. But you're not gonna get hit on as much. That's why some of these ugly girls get so uh, offensive when they see these beautiful girls walk by the man and look behind. Um. Wow. I don't know, but I mean, me personally, again, goes down to me. You know, I'm a dancer. I enjoy music. I love music. I love dancing. So dancing is my, my, my thing to do. So a club would be my scene because there's music, one I love, and then there's dancing, which I love. And I, when I say dancing, I don't mean like bubbling up on a guy. Like, no, I'll go to the club and I won't do any of that. Like if they come to me, I push them away. Now, with other women that don't, um, you know, love dancing and that kind of stuff, then that one reason they're going there is to get hit on. Yeah, one because they like the attention. reason they're going there is to find a guy or a one night stand or whatever. So, uh, I just feel like it, you know that all depends. It depends on the the woman that you're with, and vice versa if it's a guy that's doing that too. Because I mean, I wouldn't really want a guy who goes to the club. Why? I wouldn't. What if you, what if you like because dancing? Because men go there to pray. They go okay, to... but what if he, he's like likes dancing? Then we can go together because I'm a dancer too, right? Okay, so you, as long as you just said you need, they need their space though. A right. while ago, so, you just said okay. you need your space. Now you're telling me that like, I can't go by himself as long as we go together, okay? Okay, so I would let him go, but if this is like an every weekend thing, then I'm going to be like, yep, what, what is this? Like, so, I don't mind if he goes once in a while with his friends. Okay. As long as I know that he's okay that I go and he knows like why I go. I would love for him to come with me. But again, like it's, it's nice to have, you know, his, okay. So if he was to go for like a party, if it was like a birthday party celebration, that kind of stuff, I'm just like, yeah, okay. Um, but if he's going to make it like a habit, then that's an issue for me. I don't, I don't like a party guy. Because if you guys are going, you guys are together, you guys are trying to build something. Why did, why does he feel like he needs to go to this club all the time? Right. Well, yeah, that's the thing. So even I feel though like if he likes dancing or not, why he should not to go, feel like he needs to go to club? No, he can go somewhere else. Now that they're start, they're starting to have more like daytime stuff with music and things. So I mean, that's a little bit. I would be more comfortable with that than that late at night. Okay, and so if you're, <laughs> I'm guessing, so if your guy told the same thing, you'll be more, you'll be okay with it then. If he tells you, I don't want you going at night. I want you going in the daytime. You'd be okay with it. I'd rather go in the daytime, but. I mean, like I said, I don't want it to be an everyday thing. If it's like once in a while, then it's okay. Okay, so you feel like he sh he doesn't he shouldn't have to. He can go once in a while, but he yeah. shouldn't have the need. Like he feels like he, I need need to go out every weekend to go yeah. dance. Yeah, I feel like it all boils down to trust, though, right? Because women some women love to have girls' nights, just like how guys like to do you know okay. guys' nights, right? <laughs> so if somebody decides to go dancing, then 
they should go dancing. Like you have your friends. Your friends are supposed to be your supporters as well. Your friends are supposed to look out for you. Your friends aren't supposed to encourage you to cheat and do all those kind of things. And if you got friends that encourage you to cheat, yeah. then those aren't your friends. Those are some there are some girls like that. You gotta admit that pretty And guys pretty are like that too. And guys are like that. Yeah. So and that's that's the problem also. You gotta keep your quality of friends, not not your quantity, quality yeah. over over quantity. So that plays a part in it as well. Like if I know my my man's friends and they're decent men and they seem like they're level headed, then they go to a club, you know, just for drinks and just enjoy music and whatever, then I would trust them okay. to do that. But if I see his friends are like clowns and like I one of them is like cheating with two other girls, then I'm gonna be like, No, you're not going to a club with these clowns. So Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I think we got a lot of uh, good points across. Yeah. And uh, back to Mr. Mr. Tate, Mr. Andrew, Mr. Tate, Mr. Andrew Tate. So you don't you don't agree with the last point that you had there? No, not really. No, so, not so much. So women should be able to uh, go out with their friends. If they women want. should be able to do whatever the hell they want. And just just like, like how men should be able to do whatever the hell they want. It just you just got to trust the person. Maybe set like time limits without being controlled. Without, huh? Without being con- feeling like it's being yeah. controlled. You know, you just you gotta have communication and say how you feel. I think we will definitely check out some more Andrew, uh, Andrew's Mr. Video, Tate, Mr. Mm-hmm. Tate's videos because mm-hmm. he's very a uh, controversial kind of guy on topic. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, uh, if you guys enjoy that, you guys know what to do, man. Give the video a big thumbs up. Share the video with your friends. Put in the comments down below. That also helps me out a lot. Get this video pushed out there to the YouTube algorithms or wherever this is. 